this mills. How should I think get up here, right? <laughs> Welcome, thanks for tuning up to Knives. So, uh, today uh, I'm going to be switching out my FR1 pouch into a, a larger Maxpedition uh, Sitka, that little over the shoulder backpack that I'll review later on. Uh, I have so much, most of my uh, uh, survival stuff is inside the FR1 pouch, and I'm probably going to take the FR1 pouch, duplicate what I have inside it, and ultimately uh, move it into a car. Uh, I like this little setup, and uh, I have this with me. At least, with, well, I actually have it with me all the time, every day. But I mean, you know, when I guess when I'm in the mountains and stuff, which is every day, you know, I have this with me. So I hear Mel's gonna take the, the camera. Wanna say hi, Mel? Hi. Okay. And then, here. Okay. So, oh, well, this is the camera case. Oh, Jason Browse. Love his neck knife. Mel has it right now. Oh, let me show you. He's got it on right now. Yeah. Badass neck knife. It is an awesome knife. That's one of my top favorite knives. I mean, that's, that's one of my favorites. Previously I did my favorite three tactical in terms of like folders and stuff, but this time it's my favorite three, favorite I three. Update. I have to update. Well, no, it's not update. It's my favorite three. This is just a uh, tester, a strider, a uh, fixed blade. So that's just here. Uh, okay, so basically some things have changed, but uh, most of it's the same. Okay, so FR1 pouch, Max Edition. You can see all the straps and stuff. Um, you can, you can, I sometimes before would pack a little shoulder strap and kind of fold it up in here and put it right here. And if I need to pull it out and clip it on these, but I stopped doing that because weight, um, there's extras lately. Like there's a little diamond file. This is extra because uh, I was going to, uh, it's just for the recurve blades. Um, makes it a little bit easier. I thought I'd mess with this kind of file, see how long it lasts. Um, my little Uber spork. Now I'm not going to detail about everything. I'm just going to show you what's in here. The little Uber spork. This can be like a shovel. It's thicker than the standard sporks. Uh, it's tempered and stuff, and so it has like a. Pretty well, strong. Yeah, you can use a can opener. You can use it to hold a lid or something, some wire off it, and to fire. You know, um, I'm cooking. Okay, normally this is in here. This is my little adventure medical space blanket. This stuff is really good quality because I'll do a review later. But you can see like here the, you can see like there's. I mean, it's, I have like even, you see even like, like it's, it's jagged and stuff, but you see, you can just tell them that doesn't, that doesn't tear, you know, that's, that's good quality. Like that's, yeah, there's like, that's a, I even purposely put holes in it. I mean, that's, you know, some pulling on stuff and look at that. It, it's, it's really good quality. Look at that. I just pulled on, look, I, I'm messing up my blanket, but the point is it's strong enough. I, I don't take care of it, but I probably should more. Um, but you know, got space blankets everywhere. Paracord, I decide in the end to wrap it this way because it's just faster to take off. And I just tuck it inside. It's just cardboard. Yeah, just like a, I'll show you in a second. You know, here, here's a blue line gear, just, you know, a right in the rain, of course. Okay, so here's my uh, little Prion, a uh, little flashlight, the 4.7's brand. Uh, ultimately, I like a different flashlight though, a little more tactical. I'll explain this later on in a review and why it's like this too. Okay, so that's there. And if you guys don't know, that flashlight can, is on triple A's and can basically become like searchlight power. Uh, here's my skeletal tool. Uh, for better or worse, it's pretty decent. Uh, you know, I, I don't like Victorian Knox stuff. I, I don't, you know, people are like showing me all these different options. Leatherman, you know, the waves and juices and they have tweezers and scissors. And I'm like, I don't need scissors. You know, this is a Warncliffe. So whatever bandage or things I'm cutting, this Warncliffe blade will do it. Uh, and everything else, every other tool, I don't really need. I mean, you could tell me can opener. I was like, I'm pretty sure I can open a can with something on this, you know. Uh, if I have to puncture with this or use my knife uh, knife blade, I'll do that. It's not really that big a deal. The main thing I like about this is, is I can be using it. Say, for example, I, I did this, right? I used it. I can clip it immediately onto my, my uh, waist and, you know, my pants loop strap and just hang. And uh, most, uh, anyway, screwdrivers... Uh, um, uh, multi-tools come with only like a four two to four you know unscrew phillips number one and two which are right in here anyway this little extra bit plus this one but the reason why i like this one is because uh, it can do every single type of a uh, bit the bits are a little weak i would say the legend leatherman bits are kind of weak i think they're trying to make money off me on that but the pliers are really strong and good uh, you can see there's some staining from a uh, little job odd jobs here so you know, right now i'll just clip it back on okay since we are up in the mountains, I don't want to lose anything. See, I've so I've opted to switch what they put and do this little Chris Reeve style lanyards, which then gives me like much more uh, a cordage per little uh, strap thing right here. Inside, you see, I, there was two of these, but I took one off 
literally just to save every single ounce I could. Here I have my, you know, my, my of course, you know, the knife I always have, my Renter Zula Strider. Um, put that in my pocket. Let's see, uh, sometimes these are outside right here, but you know, I just, they're just, you know, in between everywhere. It's a Sharpie, double side, one side, uh, you know, marker style, one side fine point, you know, so some variety. This is a really good pen, that's all I know. Here's an, a 4B graphite, a 2B graphite, and I must have taken it. Uh, I forgot which one's the better one, but this is a good one for uh, dry lubricating my knives and stuff. Uh, and here's my little sharpening kit. You'll see DC3 plus the denim with, uh, with the steel without the strap and compound. Got to go get that. You know, big lighter, you know, okay. Then this lighter is somewhat see-through so I can see the fluid inside. So I know, you know my, uh, the amount. Some crispy floor nail grease. I like packing crispy floor nail grease because uh, this stuff is really good. It's just good stuff. It doesn't look, it's not, uh, it's not really like fluid. It's more like a, like a paste, like toothpaste almost, isn't it? It sticks to wherever you have, so it's, it's much more easy. Here is my Kirby Man. This is what I was duplicating, you see? I've taped them up so they're all over the place. But on one is uh, polyester threading from like a fabric store for like couches. And it's just black, it's like wax coated. And the other side is spider wire. This is 80 pound spider wire. I'm pretty sure there's like at least 30 to 50 feet, of, if not more, just because, you know, in case for a fishing line. But you can get up to 130 pound spider wire. but. I'm fine with 80 pound because you hit 130 pound it gets two thick strands and I wouldn't want to like sew a stitch with that if I had to you know toothbrush gotta have a toothbrush don't want cavities that that will be make your life much worse uh, mirror it's a cheapie they have better quality ones ones uh, cogging ones with instructions in the back and they're more strong and this this mirror layer is actually coated with something like actually another layer of glass so basically laminating it but this is lighter so I opted for this uh, I always debate a mirror I don't really care so much for signaling, I guess you could say. I mean, it's sure that, but I think just in the end, if you need to see something on you and you're by yourself, you're going to be appreciative of a mirror. Um, okay, then we see up here, I have on these little s beaners. You can see these. These are diamond saw blades. So basically what I do is, you know, you guys know I always, ha always have my... Uh, my this on me so there's no fire steel in this kit there's my this is an upgrade to the the phoenix uh, el1 flashlight that i normally have this one gets three versions of uh lumens um still triple a you can see so you already know what this is on here whistle a tool for my strider knife a fire steel some paracord and a diamond saw a diamond sharpener rod from a benchmade kit which I'll, I'll talk about later so this in here is inside a falcon dc3 packet but you see i can just pull out so if i need to just pull it out clip it onto one of the rings and now i have diamond saw blades and same thing for my little pry bar to clip it on. So I put it on here because, you know, uh, general around the city and stuff, I don't need uh, people seeing me with diamond saws and pry bars on my keychain. Uh, and then in here, I, and, another, and Mel's DC4 pouch from Falcon Event, I keep the extra bits. They come with two sets of bits for weight. I, I, sk I skimmed it, I lowered it down to one, yeah, one set of bits. Me and Mel carry the same set. Uh, we just kind of debated, found the ones most commonly used, etc. And you can see they've, they've seen a lot of wear. You can see everything always, everything always jacked up. So, uh, that's that. Uh, they don't hold up that well, those bits. This is our rebar tie wire from Home Depot. You know, the stuff you use to you know, tie a fence or tie, you know, <laughs> tie wire. Um, comes greasy. I don't think this, I think I carry about 30 feet of tie wire right here. Three, 30 feet of metal wiring, fish hooks, uh, uh, cooking, things like that, you know? Uh, hey, if I have to make some kind of contraption, have metal wire. Uh, in here, I've opted to go with this, and ultimately I'm going to switch this into my Sitka. This here is a uh, little waterproof pouch, toggle marker pouch. I've talked about these. Durable, just really durable. It's the same one actually, the one that does the tears. Uh, inside is the quick clot generation two, so you know you can apply it the way I, I, I like to apply it. Uh, brand new med tape. Brand new, I think this is a brand new crazy glue, honey, and a waterproof container with uh, charcoal caps inside. And then back here I have another extra uh, quick clot. And then like I said, anyway, I still would put, normally I put the space blanket back in here, but like I just, nah, everything's a little around. I'm gonna switch out. Um, let's see, in here is a uh, tenacious tape. And it doesn't matter which color really. And inside there is a uh, tweezers, tweezer man. Best quality tweezers. Gotta get tweezer, man. Th these things are. This is the best quality tweezer. I mean, they're, they're expensive. There's a reason why they're the best. Is it focused? No. I think it's because of the sun. No, I just have to. There we go. Tweezer, man. This, these edges are. This is the best tweezer. Inside here are needles. I think only a two or three. But the thing is, 
uh, I would say this, you guys gotta try using them, okay? <laughs> I don't know, you know, you can't just say, you know, sewing is not easy, okay? That's what I gotta say. You gotta try it. You gotta test your, your needles. Yeah, their needles, they bend. they'll bend, they'll break. There's different quality. The tip will dull. I mean, you'll be hating your life. You just can't take any pack of needles. You better practice. Take take a heavy duty backpack. Take a, take a Jansport backpack or something you have around the house. You know, take two or three layers of denim and start trying to sew them together and see if you can push this through and then you're going to appreciate a thimble which is I'm missing. You want a thimble, okay? I'm, I'm not kidding. A metal thimble for your finger because you will never you will never know what it's like to repair a Max Edition backpack. If you actually try it, you're going to need a heavy duty needle, you know, that doesn't come from some, you know, cheap packet of, of sewing kit and you're going to need a, a, a thimble which I'm going to pack in here ultimately. That's, that's for real. I've, okay. Uh, I carry actually a epoxy. Uh, two-ton epoxy believe it or not um, before because I had to repair my carbon fiber uh, or maybe my G10 on my handles and my knives but now just because you know heck uh, these are not complete airtight but they are generally the contact lens things but so long as the two epoxy mixes don't come into contact they stay in their form so you can just have this on you and basically have waterproof sealing welding you know I mean it'll glue metal together it'll take quite a few hours you know because I use the two-ton version but I like to have this kind of glue on me. Just I don't know. That's just what David packs. And here is a never dull inside another waterproof container. These can be used as like little floaters when fishing or something, or other tinder capsules. And um, heck, if I had to, I'll boil water out of this shit. I'm <laughs> just <laughs> I'll take some metal, wrap a crate, little get up, and you know what I mean. It's my last ditch attempt. Uh, this could these little things can clip onto my uh, my key ring. Um, another super glue because. You know, I mean, sir, yeah, never, yeah, you hurt yourself. And, um, inside here is actually waterproof capsules, uh, water pill uh, purifiers, water purifiers. Um, normally, I'm thinking with with the boiling of the charcoal caps and filtering, I won't need it. But based on the fact that sometimes this is all I might have, uh, unless I do pack something like this, you know, I need it. You know, that's it depends how bulky I want it. So this way, if I don't have a water container on me, which I always do, but if for some reason I didn't, then my my only option was to try to find. Uh, only biological and contaminated water, with, you know, then I'm going to do this once I have time to make a fire. And these are Delrin, and uh, these are uh, from REI. Don't get the going gear ones, they're horrible. They're, alum they're aircraft aluminum, and so is this, but the going gear ones, the threading is, is bad, and they get stuck. I've had to have multiple times, multiple times, and uh, you'll be stuck with all your contents inside. The last thing is another little, this little sandwich baggie. I think I would like to switch over to some little bear quality. It's a heavy duty one, but. Mm, you know, it's not that important. I have lithiums. Um, I'll talk about that later. In my actual flashlights, I have uh, uh, non-lithiums because I like the weight, which I'll talk about uh, later for self-defense. But inside my kit, I want lithiums because I don't want the weight. And I have cough drops because I don't think people realize, you know, <laughs> if you're running, if you're huffing and puffing, if it's cold, you sleep outside overnight. If you're not used to it, you might need a cough drop. And if you don't have mint somehow, or something like that to that effect, and you get a sore throat, it just leads, it could lead to you know, uh, throat infection, next no bronchitis, next no pneumonia, and without penicillin, you're screwed. I mean, it's no joke. I've, I've had pneumonia before. I don't pack the anti diarrhea pills because I got charcoal caps, but I do pack the antihistamines, and, and then I do, you know, in case an allergic reaction. And so here, I do have a burn gel pouch, I have more water purifying pills, and then, uh, which I don't ever use because, I mean, it's just nasty, but, you know, whatever. And, this, uh, uh, and then, um, uh, some Gatorade uh, uh, electrolyte, you know, balancing packets. But note to people too, you know, Gatorade. If you ever drink on an empty stomach, gives me uh, stomach acid and heartburn. I mean, it makes me feel sick. Um, so I mean, I, I know this red flavor actually is what affects me. Um, I'm gonna try to see if I can switch it out for a better flavor later on. And then there should be toothpaste somewhere here, but I may have used it. Or it might be somewhere in my other my bag actually. Uh, toothpaste is good. It has multiple purposes. Uh, bites, I think. I was saying it's mint, so you can use it as a way to open up your throat if you do have sore throat, which I've learned that when I had pneumonia. Uh, you know, it's a last ditch option. So this is the FR1 pouch. You can see how everything is stored, all the different options inside the little kit. Can you, is it in focus, Mel? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a really nice kit. I mean, you can see here, sometimes you can clip things on here. Mel will clip it on here. Oh, and these are little night eyes, uh, multi use little tying things. They're just like they're bendable wires. Not completely necessary, you know, perhaps for the weight even. Yeah, maybe I could find something a little more functional than that, but for right now, that keeps it in place and I don't want, you know, and notice, you know, in terms of hot spots, there's a reason why I keep these inside here, so that these diamond rods don't start scraping on everything, you know, at the same time, I bend the rebar tire wire uh, the end in so it doesn't scrape on anything. I mean, you know, there, that is something to consider, 
And then, like I said, what's nice about in the end, you know, let's say for example, you needed light, you could always clip this on, slide through here, and turn it on. You can kind of hold it and use it. You can use this as an over the shoulder. You can, like I said, you can put the uh, strap over and, and then wear it over your shoulder. And you can also slide your belt loop through here and then have it on your side. So the FR1 pouch is great. It's and handy. yeah, it's great. It's great. And there's a hole down here, so I don't know, headphones or water draining, or you could think of something creative. Uh, but it's very good. It's very good. So. That's it for today. Uh, thank you. So this is uh, uh, in depth. You know, I have videos on the medical stuff, uh, but I'll be covering little by little in depth more of the different things in this kit. I mean, I've covered my keychain, and uh, those videos are around. Um, but this is just to show you what's inside my actual kit, which all this stuff is still staying with me. It's just gonna be arranged put in. Differently. It's just gonna be arranged differently in the Sitka because the Sitka is basically like a big purse, you know, tactical purse in my opinion, but it's a tactical bag with all this, all the same pockets just separated everywhere, which that's the one thing I want to mention. I like the FR1 pouch because everything's in one place. While maybe any other Max Expedition, you can organize great, but you're organizing different pockets, different things out of different places, you know, it's just it starts to get kind of messy. There's more components to this. Uh, tourniquets, you know, those kind of things, uh, I find that very important, but I wear a belt that is adjustable to any length, um, and I always have actually an extra belt on my bag that was adjustable to any length because I could use it as a shoulder strap, I could use it as a belt, I could use it as a tourniquet. And then as for bandage, I actually carry a scarf with me all the time because uh, it gets cold and then plus it bugs and stuff. It's a long, long scarf that I can wrap around my face, turn it into a sling, different things, you know. Some people use band um, um, bandanas, I use the scarf instead. And uh, so those are other components that are not shown here but they are part of the kit that are, I would say are essentials.